Okay, for anyone struggling at home, yeah, to get any workouts in, and I've been saying you ain't got the peas, the broken equipment, right? All of this stuff I'm about to show you, I spent no money on at all, yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna do the normal thing now, yeah? I think you'll know what's gonna happen. Ready? Right. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you liked that intro and of course as per usual if you did like it like the video It don't take long to like the video just do it and if you're not subscribed subscribe already yeah Don't be a little bitch subscribe right it's just right there just come off it yeah do it alright cool but anyways yeah this video basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go over everything that I had beforehand and before I got all of this equipment yeah everything that I was using to keep my workouts coming in because I know a lot of you you're struggling quite a lot with the fact of not having a proper gym to go to in it but if you've got the motivation for it yeah there's no reason on why you can't be doing these things I'm gonna show you now because all of this was free innit if money is a problem for you don't worry money was a problem for me at the start as well yeah but I was able to make all of this stuff right and I just get all of this stuff. I'll, sh I'll tell you how, tell you where to go, all of this stuff. But yeah, just make sure you're listening, make sure you're tuning in. If this applies to you, make sure you're paying attention for the whole video, right? But to start things off, yeah? Here, this is the most simple thing you've ever seen me use, right? Right here. You see this? Bang. Tires, yeah? Okay, these tires, yeah, these tires have been ripped off by the mechanics, right? I have a mechanic just down the road, right? I asked him at the start if I could borrow some of his tires. He was like, yeah, you know what, go for it. We don't even need them no more, so just take them. I was like, alright, cool, wherever I take them. So, we have different size tires, right? And you may think to yourself, alright, like, what's the point in having these? You may think to yourself, what's the point in having these kind of tires, right? But basically, what I was using these for is um, to put on um, the end of a barbell or the end of a pole, anything, right? And you can fill it with weight, right? You can you can literally just fill these things with weight. You can use them on their own. They're not amazing, innit? But these have probably been the go-to things for me to, to be able to put a lot more weight than I wanted to as well. So it's like, uh, for example, if you can, you can see some of the, the holes I've been drilling in, right? I've drilled in holes so I can put little handles using just little bits of rope, little bit, little bit of anything. Just put them through, you can use them for handles. You can do little deadlifts. It, it can literally act like a fucking thingy. And you just deadlift from it, you just put the thingies in there. But that's, it's, I don't know, they're very versatile, right? You can kind of do whatever the hell you want with these. And um, I mean, if you've got a creative mind, you can kind of just slap these on anything and make it work pretty much, right? But that is probably the first, the first thing I've got there. These are the tires, right? Moving over here, this this thing right here, this is um a trampoline pole, right? This is a trampoline pole. When I um so basically when I started the the gym, yeah, my garden had a big ass trampoline in the way, and obviously I pulled this one out specifically just because I knew it was straight, right? And um, thinking about it now, that was probably one of the best decisions at the start because this thing is sturdy as hell, anyways, yeah. As far as trampoline, it's gonna be sturdy. I just put a little bit of um, tape around it, and I was able to use it as a barbell. This was like my main barbell here. Right, and um, think coming back to the, um, these, you can put these on either side, put little bits of weight or whatever the hell you have in the, in the side, maybe just clip them on with some rope or something and you can curl these. You can use this as a barbell with weight on, right? It's literally, it's, it's all about being smart with it. Yeah, you can find these kind of things anywhere. Scaffolding poles, trampoline poles, uh, I don't know what other kind of poles you get, but yeah, poles in general, Right, some of these ones, they're gonna be strong enough to hold. If you can't afford a barbell, these things you can go find on the street, you can go find these wherever the hell. Go ask your mom, go ask your mom's friends, go ask your dad's friends, yeah? Bro, them things you can find these everywhere, right? I'm well, coming over here, this, as you can see, this, as you can see, is a tire alloy, right? And it's hella rusty because obviously they didn't want, they didn't want to know more from my mechanics, yeah? So, um, I took it off their hands, and basically what I've done, I added some rope, to make a handle here yeah so this technically can be a makeshift dumbbell right if you, if you find a place to elevate yourself you can use this as a makeshift dumbbell right this thing it works i promise you it works but the one the one main reason i used this for was for when i was doing weighted dips right so i attached that to my to my shorts whatever right and i was able to wait wait like do something for dips 
where I just put a little bit of weight. For example, I know everyone has these little shitty, you see these shitty weights around their house, yeah? I mean, if you're working out, you definitely got them shitty weights. You can just stack them up in there, get a little bit of rope, tie it around. <laughs> it's very easy, very easy. This is one piece of rope, and I literally just use a little bit of duct tape in the middle. It's so simple, right? But you just have to have the mind for it. If, you, if you're able to do this, there's no reason why you shouldn't. It may be a little bit messy at times, yeah? But you've got to do what you've got to do, innit? And I mean, I see there's no reason for you not to be able to do it. But, I don't know. <laughs> It's up to you, man. Yes. Here, I swear to God, if you don't have one of these in your house, don't know what's going on with you. But yeah, chairs. What can you use chairs for? You can use these as parallels. This is most, probably the most basic thing you've ever seen anyone do, right? But this is where you can get all your dips in, man. All your dips in, all your other kind of stuff that you can do from parallels usually. Bro, I think everyone has chairs in their yard. People are lying to me, Leon. <laughs> People are lying when they're not doing it. They're lying, I swear to God. But you can do this with anything, yeah? It's literally just two little poles on either side. And you can use them, like, I don't see why why you wouldn't, if you know what I mean, yeah? So if you haven't got anything, any of the equipment, for example, that I've got, yeah? You can use the most basic stuff in your house, yeah? And you can work from it. It's so easy, I promise you it's so easy. But you can, I mean, I've been doing this from so, I've been doing this from day one, man. Like, I haven't actually had um, a dip bar for a very long time until I got them pull up me and then I sold that and I just used these if I want to unless I use the um fucking the power rack but it's literally it's that it's that simple yeah you can do it all forever that's all you want to do but this is what's been one of my go-to's from the very very start right and that's what I've been using for a very long time so anyways moving on we're coming over here now uh, basically yeah all right just don't look at everything that's in there yeah just look at what it is yeah Hey, right, basically, I went to Tesco's, innit? I was like, yo, can I have one of your shopping baskets, please? They said no, uh, and I have two shopping baskets now. But yes, anyways, right? Shopping baskets this is the most basic thing, and it can hold a shit ton of weight. Why is that? Because, I mean, it's what you're fucking shopping, bro. But it's like, it's just deep it, yeah? I take these two parts together, right? You can get a little bit of rope or a little carabiner, yeah? Whack it round, and you can put it up against a tree. You can use it as anything you want to use as, yeah? If, it, if it's okay for carries weight, you can use it, yeah? But you just have to have a smart enough mind to be able to know what to use it for. Right, I was attaching this to the tree, right, and doing fucking pullovers with them. I was using this as a cable machine, yeah? It's so simple, right? But if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it, innit? But if you want to do it, this is the kind of shit you got to do. Like, maybe, like, ask someone that actually says yes, innit? Because, I mean... <laughs> Whoopsies, but yeah, all right. <laughs> that's basically it, yeah. And for the last, the biggest kind of thing that we have here that I've just kind of like got is this bad boy. You've probably seen this before, but yeah, this is my big tractor tire. This is my tractor tire area, right? And basically, what I'm doing with this area, I've obviously I've got spray painted all this and that, yeah. But this is, I think, it's about 90 to 110 kilos, roughly around there. I don't know, I don't know actually what it is. I've never measured it, but it's roughly around there. And what we use this for at the start, and we use it for now, is um, obviously so we can have a deficit on certain movements. We can put the bar straight across. We can use it for rack pulls. But the most, um, the best thing that I use it for at the start would have 100% been the fact that you can just pull it like this. Yeah. You're never gonna lose your deadlift. This is probably the perfect thing for it. Yeah. And obviously, I've attached handles to this. If you see, I put four holes in there. Four holes in there, and now I've got handles for it. So you can whatever the hell you want to with this. But also, one thing that I did do with this. Check this out. All right. I don't know if, if you've seen this video, yeah, you're OG, but yeah. Basically, I drilled a hole, there it is. I drilled a hole on the side of this here so that you can slide the bar through and you can use it as a bar. So, bang. See that? You just have to have the mind for it. That's literally it. I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm so smart, man. But yeah, it's literally this thing we, we use for everything. Obviously, you can use it for like a deficit here, for example, when you're doing any other exercises. If you're using the baskets, just fill up a weight, get the hamstrings burning and that. But honestly, just for like an overall basis, you've got to realise, right? In times like this, if your mind doesn't let you kind of like step out the normal, yeah, you're, you're screwed. You're just screwed, innit? I, I've seen some people go from huge to tiny as fuck, right? 
just because they didn't want to spend a little bit of money on the shit they wanted to do, innit? And if you don't want to spend money or you don't want to spend time, effort, yeah, your brain on doing kind of this kind of stuff, you're not built for it, innit? So you might as well just give up, innit? But if you're really, really thinking about, all right, cool, like, I need to carry this one, innit? Then you're going to have stuff. Like, that's why I look at certain people, yeah, and they've got a whole gym. Why is that? Because they really want it, yeah? So it's literally, all I'm trying to tell you guys, yeah, is that you don't actually need money. You don't actually need proper equipment, yeah, to get the work that you need to get in. Like, it's not going to be for, like, it's not going to be forever. The gyms are eventually going to open. Probably not yet, yeah, but they're going to open, right? They're not going to be the same as before, of course. So it'll probably be beneficial for you to have something at your own, like, yard so that you can train on the days where you're not allowed to go to the gym. Okay, so basically I've heard, you know, this is not like, it's not stable or nothing, but I've heard that we're only gonna ha allowed to have two one hour sessions a week, yeah? And we're gonna have to book them in advance, right? So if this is the case for all gyms, yeah, I'm not saying it is, but this is what I've heard, and it could be true, could not, right? But if this is the case, you're gonna have to have stuff at your yard, yeah, to keep up, right? You're not gonna be able to go off two one hour sessions a week, yeah? It's not gonna work. I promise you it's not gonna work. And the way we all wanna train, we all wanna train properly, yeah? And that's not gonna be training properly. With that, you're gonna need to have something at your own yard, yeah, so that you can keep up with your lifestyle, innit? But if you don't wanna put the time in here, yeah, there's no point of trying, right? You have to put in your whole time, your whole effort, you have to put everything into it, yeah? To get the best out of it right but if you're not if you're not willing to do that then i don't know i don't know but anyways yeah this is kind of like what i've built for myself this is what i had at the start right this is what the, the, the basics the basics yeah no money is involved here we literally got all of this stuff from wherever our surround yeah you, you can find shit like this yeah more time you can find equipment yeah but anyways i hope that you've been able to grab something from this just to show you guys yeah that you don't actually need money you don't need proper equipment yeah to get good workouts in to be able to do stuff with your yard all of this stuff right because it all it all tailors in together in it so we just need to keep it moving for the time being until the gym's open and hopefully we can get back to proper training man but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe down below don't be a little bitch just subscribe in it make sure to like the video if you did make sure to comment as well give me ideas you know i like them ideas but anyways follow the instagram here you know how it is i hope you guys are having a blessed day and i'll catch you in a bit peace